hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be working on my lovely client monica shout out to her so i did go ahead and make a poll on my instagram the other morning asking um if i should record my client one of my clients because i don't have that much storage on my phone so um Everybody said client number two. So this is client number two. I didn't tell anybody what they were getting or anything like that. But this was my second client. And so today we're going to do a classy spring set. Super easy and definitely beginner friendly. So if you guys are beginners or experienced, whatever your level in the nail industry is, I'm sure you are going to love it. So I'm going to start off by um, prepping the natural nails and I'm only going to be doing one hand because she was busy with the other one. She was like in a little meeting type of thing. We had to pause and part of the nails because um, she had to like answer a phone call and stuff. So I'm going to be prepping her nails. I am using my sanding bands grade one. 50 so these are the medium sanding bands they are available on my website they are my ultimate favorite and i'm just gonna remove the shine from her nails when you guys are prepping the nails you do want to make sure to just remove the shine i don't know if it's because i'm a lefty or what but sometimes i can't really get into the left part of the nail so that's why i twist my arm just in case you guys are like, what the fuck are you doing, Zulane? I am a lefty, guys. So I'm not sure if this is a lefty thing or does anybody else do that? Let me know in the comments. Um, But happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. Right now that I'm editing this video, it's Thursday. This was recorded yesterday, um, Wednesday. And hopefully it will be up on Friday. So I'm hoping it could go up very, very quick. So tomorrow is Friday, April 21st. Um, but yeah. Also, let me know in the comments if if you guys would like me to record more clients. My clients are not that cray cray. So if I do happen to um record them, they are going to be kind of simple bitches because you know. Like I always say, everybody goes through different times in their lives. My clients have grown up already with me. So all my crazy, wild nail clients, um, I, I don't really have those anymore. It's very rare that I have a wild child, eh? A wild Zule style nails. But um, I guess it's different seeing it done to another hand versus mine. Um, that's why I do all the crazy stuff on myself. So my client, Monica, she always gets coffin nails. And she has really skinny fingernails. So I like to use my extreme stiletto tips or any stiletto nail tips to be more accurate or whatever. Sorry, guys. If, if I don't make sense, it's because I'm painting my nails right now. Like, what the fuck, Zula? You're painting your fucking nails, bitch? Yeah, I'm painting some little press-ons. So I like to use um, my Twixel Extreme Stilettos. Whenever I'm going to do like a number, a number five to like seven coffin, coffin nail tip. And if you guys are like, what the fuck is a number, number, whatever. Um, I like to use my Zule nail forms to measure the nails so that my clients know each and every time what number they like so if you guys ever struggled with like your client telling you like oh i'm gonna want the same length as last time and you're like zule and you forget and you're like bitch i can't fucking remember or like you're not good at eyeballing um i'm gonna show you guys next how i cut my nails and how i measure them and then also i price them by numbers it's just so much easier for me instead of somebody telling you like Oh, I'm going to want a medium size. Like, everybody's medium is different. So, I don't know. I just feel like this is the best for me. And so, um, the reason why I say that I like to use these nail tips for, like, a size 5 through 7, it's because they give you a nice, slim coffin finish. If your client just wants a regular coffin length, then use... Like a regular coffin, not too, too slim, but not like square. Then use the regular coffins. Um, 
But if they're looking for something slimmer, then I recommend using uh, 2XL Extreme Stilettos. Um, and then also for short nails, these work great. So, um, if you guys see my client being like a funny, a funny position, again, she was busy with the other hand. She wasn't even paying attention to Zule eh, because she was kind of like working. She was multitasking. And so we had to work with what we had. But she was very good. She was very, very good metal. So I'm just going to add the Zule nail glue to the thumb. And um, this is what I mean. So I get a little nail form and I measure it from underneath their nail. Pretty much up to like where their their finger bumps or whatever. Some people use magnets. I like to use the the nail form although this method is not 100% accurate if your clients have bigger nail beds on one hand and shorter on the other and sometimes you won't notice but there's going to be some that are like extremely noticeable like for example my my right hand is they're all bigger nails than my left so even if I were to not cut anything you can tell the difference a little bit if you pay attention so um, after I'm done gluing other nails, I'm just going to blend the tip a little bit. And then since I, I did notice that there's a little bit of plastic sticking out on the sides, I do go ahead and file that because Monica, like I said, she does have slim nail beds. Um, they're pretty skinny, so the nail tip's just... You don't want to apply a tip that's too small because then it's going to look like a stiletto and we don't want that. So I just file the excess and I am applying my... Um, bond aid first then my acid base primer and make sure if you guys are using the acid base primer to remove the excess on the napkin so that it doesn't get on the skin because it will kind of sting a little bit and then um finally i like to use my primer no burn because that one leaves a tacky finish and i feel like that just gives the best adhesion you know to acrylics or gel whatever it is that you're doing and whenever I'm using any color acrylic or just in general for my clients, I don't trust them. Fucking bitches move too much. Eh? Kidding, not kidding. But if you guys have clients that move a lot, I like to put a thin layer of clear acrylic on their natural nail. So that if they do happen to touch their face or their hair or their pocket or whatever the fuck, the primer does not... um. I mean, nothing gets stuck to the primer, you know, because it's tacky. And so I like to do that. Plus, I do it anyway because I don't want it to stain their nail. So if you guys have had any problems with your clients getting um their nails, I don't know, lint and shit, then try the clear, a little clear layer. Trust me, it'll be your best, best friend. And then, um, I think I showed the color. I'm sorry. I'm not looking 100%. I want to say this color is minty um, from Vanessa Nails. Um, I had this color uh, ooh, for a very, very, very long time. I would compare it to the, the color Seafoam, the new color that I got. But I didn't have that one at the salon. So, most of the time, when I do nails, when I do my nails at home, I use all my products, right? That's all I use. But at the salon, I have a lot of other brands that I like to use um, because I don't always have my own, all the new colors. For example, um, since that color seafoam is completely new, I have not stole it and taken it to the salon yet. So I just use whatever is the closest to the color that my client wants. And she did want something kind of green, greenish, minty. So... Um, this was the closest that I could find. Um, but if you guys did want to find this color, I'm not sure if she has it available anymore. Vanessa Nails. Again, I bought this a long time ago, but you guys could always check it out. Or if you guys want a color from my store, it would be the closest one would be Sea Foam. So my client originally, she was like, I'm going to want a pink and white ombre. And then after she was like, uh, just kidding. I don't want pink and white ombre. I want the minty green ombres. I'm like, okay, honey, me do for you. 
But then I was, she told me, she was like, I think I'm going to want like glitter. And so I recommended a gel polish. I want to say it's number 80, but I think I showed it as well. I'm almost positive it's number 80. is a pastel like green shimmer. It's part of the shimmer collection. Um, I am going to be layering it over two of the nails and I'm really, really liking this. I did this on my um, cat eye set. If you guys didn't watch that video, I recommend you guys watch it. I feel like I'm going to be doing this hybrid technique more often because I have a lot of gel polishes that are super, super pretty. And I feel like I, I'm not used to using gel on top of the nail or just in general. I'm more of an acrylic person. So I still want to incorporate my pretty colors that I have. So I think I'm going to be using them like this, like an ombre or like in a French or something. I, I don't know if I'm down to use it on the full nail because I'm scared I'm going to file into it. But I mean, you guys are more than welcome to try if you guys like it. You guys will see in a second. So I'm just going to do the same color on all the nails. I'm just doing it halfway. And... My dumbass was listening to her conversation. Okay, I forgot to blend it up. I forgot to blend my my color upwards so that I don't have a harsh line. Um, So you guys will see me come in again to those other fingers and kind of try to um blend it a little bit so that there's no harsh, harsh color line. Um, so I do recommend when you guys are doing ombres of any kind, um, do not leave a harsh line like Zule here. You want to try to thin it down so that when you add your second color, um, there is a nice seamless blend. Um, okay, let's see. I'm painting my pinky. I'm doing me some little press-ons just for fun. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me do like a Zule press on set. I know I did one not too long ago for one of my followers. Um, but I'm still practicing. So a lot of people always ask me, like, Zule, do you sell press ons? And I'm like, no, ma'am. I don't know how to do press ons. So right now I'm just practicing just for funsies. And this thing came out so fucking pretty. I wanted to add more bling on my client. But this bitch is so fucking basic. I was like, girl, girl, you need more bling in your life. Oh, this color is so fucking pretty. All right, cure it, cure it in the lamp. Cure it in the lamp. And this application is just like um 1%, 1.5% sped up. I was actually moving pretty fast because on Wednesday, yesterday, it was kind of hot. It was a nice warm day in Los Angeles, California. What's the weather like in your state? So right here, I'm going in and blending it a little bit higher. Uh, and let me know in the comments, what's the weather like in your state? The weather here in California is crazy. Super, super crazy because one day it's cold. Highway. And the other day is freaking hot. Like, what the hell? No wonder the lady be feeling like shit. Like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. And just in case you guys are wondering, I am using my size. I think this one's a size 12. I was like, what the hell, Zule? You working with a size 12? What the hell? I'm more than positive it's my size 12 Kalinsky brush. But um, so this acrylic normally doesn't dry too fast. It doesn't dry fast and it does not dry slow. So... Sometimes I'm like, okay, let me use a, a smaller brush to hold less monomer and that way it can dry faster, you know, something like that. Um, Because it was not hot either. It was just a little warmer. It was not like cold. I had like, it's been like in the 50s and shit. I think it was like barely 70. So look at the shimmer. So pretty. So if you guys were to apply this color, like two or three coats would give you this exact color on the nail. But we don't want to put that many coats. We just want to give it the little shimmery effect. And I wish she would have told me, like, do all of them. But my client is basic. She did not tell me that. 
I was really hoping, but she did not. So I was like, fuck it. Two nails is fine. Two nails is fine. Mmm, cafecito time. So now we're going to go in and ombre the nails. And this color is the Cover Pink Nude. My favorite, my favorite, 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 favorite nude from my website. I feel like we have a lot of beautiful nudes. And we will be adding a lot more. Um, But this one is my ultimate favorite. If I'm going to recommend you a color from my website, it's going to be this one. And the reason why I say that is because it goes with everybody's skin tone. Like, it's not too pink. It's not brown. It's not peachy. It's not, you know? Um, so, it's my favorite and my oh, my go-to for a ombre or a French. Like, if you guys don't have this color, fucking get it. Trust me. Thank me later because it's so fucking beautiful. It's so gorgeous. All right, hold on. Let me just take a quick picture of my nails. Parsen pinches chicletes a la verga. All right, hold on. Um, and so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this same color on all the nails, and you guys will see me using this color a lot because it's my favorite. Um, somebody asked me in my, one of my lives the other day, they're like, what's your favorite color? If you could recommend me a color, which one would it be? So that's why I thought of saying that in the video right now, because this is definitely a color I would recommend. And I do recommend, um, as far as the nudes. So let me know what, what other designs you guys like, would like me to do. I, I've been saying I want to do like a Lisa Frank design. Something neon with like zebra and you know. Because everything, it, all the styles from back in the day are kind of coming back. And I also want to do some duck nails. I know the duck, we just got some duck tips in actually today. And some little almonds. So I will be doing videos with that as well. But let me know in the comments. I would like to know what you guys would like to see. Or if you guys don't have like a specific um, theme or anything like that. Like drop a color in the comments. and Because sometimes I don't know what colors to do. So you guys can help me pick. Oh shit my nail fell off bitch. What the hell? <sighs> I cannot wait to start doing some like neon colors. I love neon. Um, so anyway, back to the nails. If you guys struggle to do ombres again, try to <coughs> I wait. Swallow my saliva bitch. Try to thin down the first color and then put your nude acrylic right on that like invisible line or whatever. Right where the, the color ends, and then don't put the bead too big. That's a lot of people's mistakes, in my opinion. Um, do it a little bit at a time, especially the first bead, because you want to make sure that the the blend is almost perfect. And this acrylic does make it super easy to blend. Excuse me. And I'm not just saying that because it's my favorite, but you guys can see here by yourselves. It blends so perfect. And so I decided to bring down the nude a little bit more. Normally, ombres... Oh, fuck. I'm getting a shock. Um, normally, an ombre goes halfway, halfway of the nail. Some clients will request a lower, a lower or higher ombre, but typically the ombre goes like halfway. So it's up to you and your client. Um, I don't fucking ask my clients how high do you want it because, like, bitch, you getting it half fucking way. But there has been clients in the past who will request it in advance, like, oh, can you, can you put less nude? Or something like that. Only because they're going to get like a fill in the future or some shit. A lot of my clients don't get fills anymore, to be honest. So that used to happen to me like years ago. I used to have a client who would be like into ombres and she'd get fills on fills and fills. So she didn't want her ombre to look like it was running out of the color tip, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate all the nails. And I always say to apply a thin color 
um base you don't want to waste all your fucking acrylics honey i always tell everybody so if you guys have been watching me for a long time you guys will hear that many many times do not do not um waste your color acrylics on building the full nail the structure i mean that is totally faster to finish a set but i don't know I just was taught to apply thin and then encapsulate, you know, because the color acrylic and glitters are more expensive than the clear. And then, too, there is a lot stronger. I'm drinking my cafecito. The clear acrylic is a lot stronger. So, yeah, that's why. That's why, honey. Um, But... To each their own whatever tickles your pickle honey if you like to build your whole nail with the color acrylic that's the way you learn well then do do that but i was taught to encapsulate and i learned many many years ago and maybe that's why a bitch is slow but how to call it um that just works for me i am obsessed with my little press ons that i gave myself right now honey these are looking so cute I don't know what, what the hell kind of design to do, though. Hmm. Well, I should probably do a little 3D flower or something. So, I did decide to include the encapsulating part because, for the most part, I feel like I've left that out in the past. And, um, <clears throat> it is important. <sighs> it's a very important step, especially when you're building an apex. You want to make sure that you have a nice thickness um, all around the nail, but mainly in your um, apex area, which is where the nail tip and the and the natural nail meet. So if you guys have been struggling with knowing where your apex is at, pretty much it's where the nail tip and your natural nail meet. And depending on the length of the nail, it it's a little extended. So for long nails, it you have to focus. A bigger area that doesn't mean you're gonna make like fucking camo nails and shit you know like you don't want to make it too thick either the cuticle on the tip should be the thinnest part of your nails and then the apex is is where the belly is gonna be at you guys can already start seeing the shape of my nail um that I'm giving her her little apex and it's starting to look like it has a belly there's people who like to do flat nails and the structure's not is not 100%. But like I said, everybody does nails different. If you don't like to do Apex, that's fine with you and your clients. But I do recommend for you guys to reinforce that Apex because cuando te vas a meter un putazo, meaning in English, if when you hit yourself, when you bump your nail somewhere, that's going to be the area that your nail is going to break in. And if that does happen to you, if, this, if that's happened to you before or it happens to you, that means you are lacking an apex. So, remember the delay when you hurt yourself and your nail breaks straight down the middle. It's because you do not make it thin enough, thick enough. So, back in the day, I used to have a lot of clients break their nails right there, like snap. And I used to wonder, like, why the fuck are they breaking there, right? So they would come in and I'll fix it. And me daba una pinche vergüenza, you know? I'm over here like, I'm a professional. But my nails would not fucking last. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, they'd break them. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing with your fucking hands? But it was not even them. It's just Zule didn't apply enough fucking apex. But not no more, honey. Not no more. We be giving them a fucking apex. Apex, honey. And they do not break their nails. It's very rare that my clients break their nails. Um, but again, they treat their nails like tools. I mean, not tools. Jewels, not tools. Porque les cuesta. Les cuesta poquito, you know? But, but yeah. I just put top coat all over my nails. <sighs> Let me know in the comments what you guys did for Easter. I know Easter was earlier during the the month but i feel like i haven't talked to my little youtube family so um let's catch up how was your easter what did you do did you find some huevos you know i'm not talking about your hush pinch huevos <laughs> oh my god i i'm gonna be doing a live on 
YouTube as well. I just don't know if I should do it next week. If so, what day would you guys like me to do a live? I'm going to try to do a live on YouTube at least once a month. So we have to start picking a day, like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what day? And it's going to be forever that day. Like, oh, the first of the month, the last of the month, and the whatever, a Monday. And then I'll just pick a random Monday. Um, if my client, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my client does have crooked fingers like Zule. It's like she my, my cousin. I actually tell her that she is like my prima. She has her pinky like Zule crooked going inward and her index finger as well. Um, so, oh my God. I I kind of feel I I feel like I position her nails like the way I position mine. Like you try to fix the crooked nail just a little bit, but not too much because then it's gonna look hella crooked. You know, like even though the fingers are already crooked, they're gonna look even more crooked. Oh my god, Becky, these nails are looking so fetch. Let me know also. <clears throat> I know I ask you guys all the time, but I just want you guys to interact with Zule. Um, what was I going to ask you guys? I forgot. Fuck. I fucking forgot, bitch. Oh, I hate doing voiceovers because then I get sleepy as shit. Like, it never fails that I get sleepy when I am talking to my fucking phone. That's why I don't like doing voiceovers. But I think my question was going to be like, let me know in the comments if you guys prefer the voiceovers versus the lives um i'm i'm gonna try to not go live as much anymore because how to call it sometimes i don't really have the energy but i me como me gusta el chisme me a mi no me gusta me encanta a mi como me gusta chismear a la verga but i know some of you guys don't have instagram or tiktok so that's why we're gonna come to to Instagram and I mean the fuck and we're gonna come hang out on YouTube as well. Show you guys some love. Show everybody some love. Um. So after I am done with the encapsulating, I am gonna go ahead and file. And normally when I hand file on my lives, I do get a lot of people like you don't use an e file. You don't use an e file, but I enjoy hand filing. I feel like I have to hand file now. Um, I don't know if any of you guys hand file. Let me know in the comments. I love to do it. I feel like you get a better shape, in my opinion. And then also, like with the electric file, it could just go wrong quickly. So, I enjoy hand filing first. And then, lastly... I go in with the with the electric file just to like remove scratches or um like sealing in the cuticle area. So guess what? Today you guys get to see everything, the full process. Again, I did speed up this video about like um time and a half. I don't know how fast that is. But I didn't want to speed it up too much. Um, but just not as fucking slow as Zule because, girl. Uh, Zule be slow. Zule a slow hoe. This set took me about three hours. Because I was struggling with my client over here. Um, but overall, that's how long I take. For like a longer set. If... If they want something nude, if a client wants just a nude set, then I can definitely go faster. But overall, I'm just slow. I'm slow and it's okay. I feel like there's a lot of nail techs now that pressure or feel pressured to be fast. But to be honest, I, I've never really felt like that. I just, I'm just happy if I'm able to make enough, you know, to keep doing what I love. Obviously, you you don't want to 
fucking take 20 million hours on a client and make only like $20. But um, over time, you get faster. And over time, you'll you'll be able to charge more. So it can balance, you know, like. Like, who was it the other day that I saw that they see like seven or eight clients? I'm like, what the fuck, Becky? That's a lot of clients, bitch. I would fucking die just thinking of all that filing, like doing it over and over again. Like the repetitiveness is what would kill me. Just thinking about it, like I got tired. I want to know how many clients do you guys see a day? I don't know if it's just I'm not built for that or something, but the most clients that I've ever seen would have to be a five. And that was when I just started. I used to have like five clients here and there for, um, but I used to offer them different services like feet, feet. I used to do acrylic toes back in the day um, and things like that. So my nails were not as intricate as they are now um, because obviously I didn't have the skill or the knowledge. I, I, I didn't know how to do a lot back then. But I tried. And so I will have more clients, but I wait, I made way less money. Way less money. So now, now that I've been doing nails for a longer time, I feel like as long as they make X amount of money, whatever your goal is, um, in order to keep your business alive and shit is is how to call it fine for me. Like I only do nails part time, just in case you guys didn't know. I don't do nails full time anymore. Um, I moved about two years ago. Two years ago, um, in January. So I work far as shit. I work super far from the salon. I mean, from where I live, so I don't go that often. And um. In the beginning, I was like, dude, am I even going to make enough to, like, pay my rent? Because just because Ule works from far doesn't mean... I mean, now that I work farther, it's like, fuck my life. I got to drive to work. But I need to also see, like, how much do I make in a month? Is it enough to cover my drive and my my salon rent and some for Zule. Is it? Is there? Is there? So things like that you have to um take in consideration when you're doing nails. So por eso I have like a higher minimum now because people be like, how much do you charge? And I, I don't charge a lot of money, but I mean, for some people it might be a lot, but not. F- I honestly think there's there is people who charge way more than me. But I'm not the most expensive and I'm not the cheapest person either. Pero pues me tardo un chingo. So at the end of the day, it's como que nomás gano a little bit, a little bit, porque me tardo ahí todo un año a la verga. So my client did decide that she wanted some flowers. And so we're going to do some 3D flowers. I'm using the same colors that I use on the nails. Well, the minty color and white. I'm using white. Oh, this looks so pretty. Um, White to do the flowers. And I'm using my number six Kolinsky 3D brush. Um, I do recommend our 3D brushes as well. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I almost forgot. Oh my God, hurry up so late. The time's almost up. Okay, I have some new brushes coming. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. Hopefully, they'll arrive like in the next month or so. But... Um, we're out of stock of the size four Kalinsky brushes for the 3D. So we only have number two and number four. I mean, number six, but we're going to be having the number four available again soon in our new, our new style, our new color design or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, but, um, for larger petals like this, they're not that big, but I do recommend something bigger than a size two. Um, but maybe not a size six. I'm already a little bit more experienced, so I kind of know how much monomer to get and things like that. But if you guys are a beginner, I recommend to get a size 2 brush if if that's only what's available. But if there's an option for a size 4, then I recommend a size 4. And so I told my client, she was like, I want either like a sunflower vibe, like this kind of flower. We call it sunflower. 
um one big one on the side of the nail and then i was like why don't you just do two little ones where it'll equal like one flower you know like three petals at the top and two at the bottom and she's like okay so this client of mine is super simple so i ha she was already getting scared with all the bling that i was putting her and i'm like girl girl that shit ain't nothing so i was like tu sabes a, like she was like oh my god those diamonds are too big i'm like bitch that's the way they go all right you asked for this design so shut up and she just started laughing but I love her. I've been doing her nails for like eight years already, dude. Can you guys fucking believe that? Por eso ya es mi pinche prima. Because I spend so much fucking time with her. She comes every fucking month sin falta. But this video is almost going to be done. We did at the top code and look at the finished look. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you wear these? And have a beautiful night. Pues ya no aquí a la verga. So good night, everybody. See you guys soon. Um, yeah. Lávense la cola. Bye. Bye.